Good evening, everyone. Thank you very much for coming out, for showing your interest in transport and in public transport. It's cold, it's winter, but you're here. This is a really engaged community, and I thank you very much for having that engagement. I would also like to acknowledge the Wurundjeri, the traditional owners of the land on whom we meet tonight, and I pay my respects to Elders past and present. Uh, I want to thank MTF for putting tonight on and for giving us the opportunity to talk about what we're doing and what we would like to do, but as well as hear from our community the things that are really important to them and the things that they care about. Thank you to Mark for being our chair. This probably isn't quite in your job description, but I appreciate the time that you're taking out of your own life to help us have a say and communicate and talk with each other. Uh, good to see our mayor here, and I know public transport and transport is something that he is also passionate about. Uh, for those of you who, who don't know me, and there's a few couple of faces here that I'm not familiar with, uh, I grew up in research, I grew up on a dirt road, there was a farm opposite, pig farm, not so glamorous, I think I'll stick to just calling it a farm. Uh, and my parents tell me when we moved here in the 70s that it was a dirt road that connected Eltham to Greensboro. It's a little bit different now. And I have seen, as have many of you, how much this community has changed. There's a lot of things that have stayed the same, but there has been growth. But where the growth has really been is to our north. Now, if you look over for the next 20 so years, we're going to have, according to the ABS, on average around about 350 people a year will move into Nillamby. In Whittlesea, however, it will, become the, it will grow the size of Geelong. So it's about 175,000 people overall. It's a huge amount of people moving into our communities in the north. It is not our community that is creating all of our traffic problems. It is the people around us who are creating our traffic problems. And this is why our transport responses have to be what help our local people move around, but also help people who aren't local not move through our community, not use it as a thoroughfare, but actually get onto major freeways and roads that keep them out of here if this isn't their destination. <coughs> so that they are not clogging up our roads, aren't inhibiting our ability to get to work on time or to get home to spend time with our kids. These are the things that we need to look at. And this is why we are doing things like investing in North East Link. We do need to have a road that gets non-local people off our local roads, that helps connect people, helps get them faster and helps reduce our traffic, such as taking up to 14,000 vehicles a day on Fitzsimmons Lane. These are the things that will help our lives and this is the things that will help our quality of life. We've seen that we've already duplicated the Hurst Bridge line between uh, Heidelberg and Rosanna. This has been a long time coming. We got rid of the level crossings between uh, on Grange Road and also on Lower Plenty Road. We could only do those things through the investments that a Labor government did in the past. And these are things like the uh, duplication of the line between uh, Clifton Hill and Westgar, the bridge, the new bridge that was put over the Eastern Freeway, the substation investment to increase the electricity supply at Clifton Hill so more trains could go through. And it was also the increased signalling that happened along our train line. For much of our train line, we had technology that dated back to the turn of the last century that is certainly not relevant to the 21st century. And this is what Labor governments have done in the past and which has enabled us to do the changes that we have done in the last three and a half years. We also want to do, as many of you might have heard today, we want to do uh, Hurst Bridge Line 2. And that means duplicating our line up to just before the Trestle Bridge, three kilometres of track, which allows plenty of time for trains to pass each other safely, in ease, allowing for 10 minute connection, 10 minute tra trains at Eltham and Montmorency Station. What we're also doing is increasing, uh, putting one and a half kilometre of, of track between Waddle Glen and Diamond Creek, which allow increased services on those lines as well. This is a holistic approach that identifies the challenges of our train line, the things that really matter to us, as well as giving us the transport needs, the transport that we need, which are trains every 10 minutes. We do want to keep our trestle bridge. We do recognise its historical significance. It is the only one left in <coughs> metropolitan Melbourne that is still being used. And this is something important. And this is something that it makes us unique. And it's something that as a community, we quite embrace. We like being unique in this community. We like where we live. We love our trees. We love our canopy. We love some of our dirt roads. We love the way ways. We love the way this place looks. We don't want to turn it into mini freeways, mini highways that disconnect 
a lot of our community. We need to create these roads outside of our community so that local people can get around with these. We're also, we've also done Mander Rail, which will help alleviate pressure on our train line. It will increase parking availability on that train line, stop those people in, our, in the growth areas along Yang Yang Road who go to Hurst Bridge, who go to Greensboro, who also come here. They will be able to go to Murder, but train line, those three stations there that we have built will open up very soon. Uh, we'll be doing work on Fitzsimmons Lane, improving those uh, intersections, making them easy to get through, and having a continuous feed intersection at the Apple Peel. Uh, much as uh, Hoddle Street is working now, and it's working very well, we will also have the same ability on Fitzsimmons Lane. And this isn't an election commitment, this is stuff that is funded, this is stuff that is happening now. Because we are a government that hasn't sat still. We are a government that hasn't thought, oh, what is that problem? Too hard, we don't know how to fix it. We've gotten in there. We have got rid of nearly 30 level crossings across the city. We are doing so much to help people move around and there is a lot more that we need to do. And we are the government that can do it because we've already got the runs on the board. We have already shown the infrastructure that we can build and how it does actually help people's lives. It helps people get around and help takes the pressure off people as they are trying to get home, put dinner on the table, sort out kids for sport, all of the things that we need to do when we get home. We all want to commute in a reasonably short period of time. The other thing that we've got to do is look at things at a, at a grassroots level too, which is engaging with our schools and our parents, which is what I have been doing this year. How can we help you get your kids walk to school? How can we get school traffic off our roads, freeing them up? And there are a number of suggestions that I'm working on at the moment to help do exactly that. And it's true, we do need to improve bus connectivity. We've got the 343 bus, a new bus service, which helps connect the northern part of this community to Greensboro Station, which has been very important. And after having 500 services cut from the northern part of my electorate around Apollo Parkways in Eltham North under the previous government, which also led to the closure of Greensboro Tape, we are putting much more buses out there and increasing services because buses are an important part of connections. But we, we, and we're also doing stuff at Montmorency Station, which I'm sure people have heard about. So we have got a lot of runs on the board and showing that we can actually listen to our community, work with our community, and make major infrastructure happen that really matters and helps our community get around. And we are looking forward to doing this in the next four years because we have got a lot of projects that we want to get onto, a lot of things that we want to do to make things better and to give us the quality of life that we know that we want and we know that we deserve. Thank you.